Hey, it's me, Fish, once again. And I'm going to do a quick Christmas haul. I've done the air quote fail because uh, maybe about three or so of these are Christmas gifts from family. And the rest are uh, movies I bought for myself uh, the past couple weeks. So, um, this first one I'm going to show you. I don't know if. Um, I'll put it in my last update video or not because I don't remember when I got it. But anyway, I know it's, I just got it not too long ago, so here it is. Streamscape, the collector's edition from Scream Factory. An awesome movie. Um, have not seen this in I don't know how long. Um, but it also has the um, alternate. Cover, which is just the uh, uh, original theatrical artwork, which I, I like this theatrical artwork a lot better than the new commissioned artwork. Not that this commissioned artwork is bad. This is really good artwork, too. I like it. Uh, I've got the poster, too, because it came with a poster if you pre ordered. Uh, that one I got for myself. This one I also got for myself. Uh, Suicide Squad Target exclusive media book. Now, uh, um, don't know if you noticed, but it's that lenticular. Now that, can you see that? Pretty cool, huh? And then it's got the book thing that came with it, built into the into the case there's three discs there's a uh, the blu-ray disc uh, which is the director's cut I guess or extended cut whatever it's called and then another blu-ray disc which is the theatrical version and a DVD which is just a theatrical cut so but that I have still yet to see this one and I don't like Jared Leto's Joker just based on the commercials I've seen the trailers I just don't like his look I mean not Jared Leto himself but the look of the Joker character it doesn't seem like it was the same from the comics but then again I haven't read those particular comics in a few years so I don't know if they've changed him to that look that he is in the movie and, well, even with Harley Quinn, I, I don't think she looks like that in the comics, but she could now. I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't read the comics in so long. I have no idea. But Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, oh my God, she's hot. I don't care what anybody says. That's freaking hot. So, uh, and my brother, my younger brother, got me this. One of my favorite Andrew Dice Clay movies. Well, he doesn't really have that much movies to begin with, but yeah, I have Ventures of Ford Fairlane. Now, this is just a bare bones Blu ray, but it's Blu ray. Yeah, it's good to be upgraded from the DVD. However, right, the DVD does have the music video from Billy Idol on it and some trailers, whereas this one doesn't even have those. It's just uh, upgraded uh, movie. So I still got the DVD, so. Uh, well, not an actual copy of the DVD, the uh, physical. I, I got a, a DVD-R copy of it. But it's, you know, got the same menus and the FBI warning and, and all that. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. And I'm not sure if I've shown this one before or not. The Creepshow 2, the Arrow collector's edition it's like got a lot of content look at that a whole hell of a lot of content and a little bit bent right here but that's okay it's got a um, comic book adaption a 
one of the stories that never made it to the movie. And I already read this, and I was like, hmm, that would have been pretty cool to have been put in the movie. But in the long run, I mean, I mean, it's pretty gory, which is good. I like gore. Nothing against that. Just wondering um, why they never produced it. I don't know if they couldn't get actors or... I don't know what. But, yep, Creepshow 2, cool cover. Now I wish they could get the rights to Creepshow 1 and do something similar to this for that. That'd be awesome. And my brother also got me this awesome collection. The Omen Collection. Now, unfortunately, the only thing missing from this collection is the Omen 4 The Awakening. Which is like the worst Omen movie ever. Um, apparently, it, I've seen it. It's been a long time, so I could be off a little bit on the descriptions and whatnot. <coughs> uh, Damien's daughter is like the new Antichrist or something like that in, in, in Omen 4. Now, as bad as a movie it, is, it, it was, I still would have liked to have it. That's part of the whole collection. Now, I guess either they couldn't get the rights to it, or they just felt that it sucked too much to be included. I mean, it has the remake in here. It's got the original Omen, Omen 2 and Omen 3, and the remake with that uh, the, the actor, I can't remember his name, that dude that played Sabretooth in, in the Wolverine movie. Because there was a Sabretooth in the X-Men movies that was like a big hulking dude, but this is a little guy. And uh, it has that chick from uh, 10 Things I Hate About You on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the, the remake is pretty good. I liked it. But I also liked the originals too. So it's cool. And, and that, now I got to concentrate on eventually getting me the Exorcist set one of these days. I've been watching the TV series, which is really good. You need to watch the Exorcist TV series. It's good. Which is coming out on DVD pretty soon. I hadn't seen any Blu-ray announcements for it, but, well. And my niece got me this. It's the Three, Monst Three Monsters movies. Monsters Go Home, Monsters Revenge, and a Monster Family Portrait. Now, the Family Portrait, I think, is basically just two episodes put together as one mini movie because it's only like 50 minutes long. So, but then uh, it's got the two monster movies, which I haven't seen since they uh, first aired. Um, now, Monster Go Home, I'm not sure if that was theatrical release or was it made for TV. I don't remember. I don't think I seen it in the theaters, so I must have seen it on the TV. And the Monster's Revenge, I think, wasn't made for TV. Pretty sure it was, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's two discs. The Family Portrait is on its own. And then uh, Monsters Go Home and Revenge is on its on, on the disc by itself. At least it's not a flipper disc. I don't like those flipper discs. <coughs> that's, that's it for this haul. <coughs> now, um... You already seen I had uh, my horror pack, D D <coughs> DVDs of all that, and I still, today is the 26th, still have not got the Blu-ray horror packs yet. Obviously, it's not the fault of horror pack, it's the USPS, uh, the United States Post Office, so, uh, or a postal service. It's been in, the tracking has been in limbo, I guess you could say. It's been on the 17th as the last update. And it still is today as last updated on the 17th. In transit to destination, it says. And uh, today, like I said, the 26th, that's like almost 10 days ago that it was last updated. And they sent it out on the 15th. I got the DVDs right away. I got that, like, I think, like, on the 17th or something, like a day 
two days or so after they sent it out. The Blu-ray is still stuck somewhere in the postal system. But, oh well. But when I get them, I will be putting um, a video up. I can't, can't speak. Um, sometimes my mind just blanks when I'm trying to think of what to say. But, eh, who cares? Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all for this one. And watch my uh, Blu-ray Horror Pack unboxing soon. other unboxings of crap so if you like this hit like or subscribe if you haven't already subscribed do whatever you feel like it's up to you alrighty so I just wasted enough of your time today hasta whenever